In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure to remove, inspect, and overhaul your vehicle's alternator. In this step, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure for removing our voltage regulator from our alternator. The voltage regulator is this piece right here. You can see it's held down by several Torx bits. It's a chunk of solid state circuitry that controls the amount of voltage generated by the alternator. Now, your brushes are housed right below this, and they have a pair of springs. One holds each brush down. Anytime you're dealing with spring-loaded devices, you're going to want to put on your safety glasses. Not to fear if your springs go shooting out all over the place because your replacement brushes will come with new ones. I'm going to take a Torx bit and my quarter-inch ratchet and a quarter-inch socket and begin removing the mounting screws. You're going to want to set these aside on your magnetic tray so as not to lose them. You're going to want to perform this step before disassembling your alternator any further. If you try and disassemble the alternator without removing the brushes, they will hang up on the grooves on the commutator and it'll be a real tough guy to get it to separate. You may even, in fact, damage the voltage regulator. set our tools aside and begin wiggling the voltage regulator out. As you can see, these are where our brushes are located here and here. That is the proper service procedure for removing your voltage regulator.